In this diagram we have the original box here is the smaller box and we've adjusted it by a uh, ratio of two multiplying each of the sides height width and length by two and the question is how does that affect the volume and how does that affect the surface area and we want to extend this then suppose we take and take each measurement to one half and take that and adjust the box by decreasing the length width and height to half of their original values how does that affect the volume of the two boxes and how does that affect the total surface area of the two boxes and of course we could look at this in various ratios from a ratio of tripling everything to four times as large, five times as large, one and a half times as large, etc. That's your task. Figure out the relationship between the total surface area from the original box and the adjusted box and also figure out the uh, change that occurs and a shortcut that would allow you to predict or tell what the new total surface area would be and the new volume would be. Here we have two rectangular solids. The first box is 2 by 4 by 5 and we've doubled all of those measurements and we've created this larger box by doubling each of the original measurements. So the first task was to look at the relationship between the volumes when each measurement is doubled. So the original volume was 40 and the adjusted volume is 320. If you divide those two you'll get a ratio of 8. All right. So the larger box is 8 times the volume of the smaller box and basically <laughs> since we doubled each of the measurements doubling times doubling times doubling is really doubling cubed so if we increase by two all the measurements two cubed would give us the multiplication factor to look at the new volume I'm going to eliminate those and look at total surface area surface area would be taking the area of all six faces and adding them together the total surface area for the original box was 76. The total surface area for the adjusted box was 304. If you divide these two, you'll find out that the uh, ratio is 4 because area is a two-dimensional idea and so we doubled all of the measurements for the area and 2 times 2 is 4, so it's 4 times the total surface area. All right. We can double check that quickly on tripling it. So if I move my ratio up to 3, our box is quite a bit larger. So let's see the volumes. The original volume is still 40. The adjusted volume is 1080. 40 into 1080 is going to give us a value of 27 because we tripled each measurement tripling cubed is 27 times the volume whereas when we low look at the total surface area 76 was the original the adjusted is 684 we tripled everything tripling squared would be nine times as large so the change factor for total surface area, two-dimensional idea, square the ratio factor. The volume is a three-dimensional idea. We're going to cube to go from the smaller or original to the adjusted. In addition, in addition to adjusting in that direction, we could push our multiplication factor down to a 0.5, taking half of all the original measurements. By taking half, 
our volume is going to be one half cubed, which would be one eighth the volume. Our total surface area would be one half squared, or one fourth of the total surface area.